Welcome into the Daily Reload. I'm Crash and you're busy, so let's go ahead and get into the shooter news. And yesterday there were some actually really big announcements and this is incredibly unique and new territory for the shooter space. So I wanna tell you guys everything about what's going on and then on the flip side, talk about where we're at, where this is gonna land. This could either be a really good thing or a really bad thing. I wanna talk about that towards the end and get your guys' opinion down in the comments below. But what is going on? So essentially, content creators are building a battle royale inside of a battle royale. We've arrived to the future, ladies and gentlemen. Several large content creators, Cypher PK, Courage JD, Nick Merckx, Ninja, and Tim the Tatman are pooling resources, and I'm guessing funding together, to build a game inside of Unreal Editor for Fortnite. So I wanna talk about the implications of that and if this is a scam, essentially, or if this is a really good thing and could revolutionize how games are made, uh, hopefully efficiently and uh, without a lot of bugs, because we've been seeing that um, a little bit lately. So Unreal Editor for Fortnite is a PC application recently released for designing, developing, and publishing games and experiences directly for Fortnite. So essentially it's an Unreal Editor that kind of compiles it and lets it run inside of Fortnite. So you can kind of build essentially almost anything within Unreal and then port it over to Fortnite and Fortnite is the client, the game that will run it for you. So it can go to console, it can go to PC, and everyone who has Fortnite can run it on essentially any device that runs that. So when it released, I kind of thought, and I definitely talked about on the podcast how this could really change how things are happening it didn't occur to me that people could get together and build what essentially they're calling a, a completely new game in project v but from their website they're saying we'll have custom weapons a full-scale map so it sounds like one map fluid movement and unique mechanics in our sites they say we have ambitious plans to build something really unique while we can't give away too many details about the game just yet Here's what we can tell you. Project V will be a game that puts community feedback and features front and center. We believe that our players should have a say in shaping the gameplay. What is next is the heart of the Project V is our community, so we'll need your feedback and votes to shape our game. To make sure your voice is heard and stay up to date on development, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our newsletter. But they also are taking on some other people to help them out and essentially putting out a job search for more people to come online. It says the project's five partners will pool their respective creative resources to guide the initiative which will feature a staff of Fortnite creative devs from Oni Studios. And this is a completely different way of doing things. We know Dr. Disrespect essentially built an old school style game studio working in Unreal 5 to build Dead Drop. There are other content creators uh, that are doing different things. We have a lot of games uh, kind of in the factory right now in the drawing board getting created in a bunch of different ways. And it's gonna be interesting to see how all these games come out. There are a couple different takes to have here. Um, on the negative side, this could be kind of a money grab because as you guys know, in Unreal Editor, when people play your game and a lot of people use it depending on how many people play it you can get revenue from that from epic games for how many people you bring back to the game your kind of retention and player base so when you have content creators that are this massive coming together they bring with them a large community so if this is relatively easy for them to build within the unreal editor port directly to fortnite they don't have a lot of costs up front and then they can get a lot of revenue because it should have a large player base at least from the beginning so kind of an roi juice worth the squeeze thing not a lot of work for potentially a fair amount of revenue that is one way of looking at it that's kind of the negative way to look at it but on the brighter side of things on the positive light this could be a way that more accessible tools are allowing more people to create experiences now with that large reach of people with those large communities they probably have some talented individuals within there that can help them build something really cool and we've seen studios struggle in the past with some of these base features some of these engine issues like you know dice has had a hard time with the frostbite as of late there's been a lot of games that have come out recently that don't perform very well and if if you don't have to worry about that stuff if you let epic games if you let a third party source work on that kind of stuff, then all you have to do is these folks just have to focus on building a good game, building a creative game, balancing it, adding the mechanics that they want to, and they don't have to worry about a lot of those engine level issues. And basically what we could be seeing is, I'm hoping this is the case, I'm hoping for the latter here, guys, I'm always open uh, for the positive, that what's actually happening is we're going to see a more accessible way for more and more and more people to be able to create the games they want to and just get those tools out to the masses. And that's when we could see it. When everyone has the opportunity, the cream is gonna rise to the top, the most creative individual 
individuals are going to get in there and that's when we're going to start to truly see innovation in the shooter space that's my that's my inspirational take that's what i really hope is going to happen here so i think this could be a challenge for the guys because you're building a battle royale inside of one of the largest successful battle royales of all time right you're trying to do something new and unique inside of fortnite which is one of the the biggest games that has done battle royale ever so that's going to be interesting and if you look at the screenshot that they put out if you look at the teaser image uh with all the avatars of the creators on there the graphics and stuff do look like Fortnite. it looks really kind of the same in that area so i don't know how hard it will be for them to get out from under the Fortnite umbrella guys that's all i had for you today thank you so much for watching i hope you're having an awesome weekend and i can't wait to talk to you tomorrow